Foreign Secretary says he's alarmed after a Ryanair plane flying from Greece to Lithuania was ordered to land in Minsk on Sunday, where Belarusian authorities arrested a journalist. The actions of the Belarus government of President Alexander Lukashenko, who's a close ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin, has sparked international condemnation, with Dominic Raab saying in a tweet that the UK was coordinating with our allies, adding that this outlandish action by Lukashenko will have serious implications. Germany called for an immediate explanation and Poland's Prime Minister described it as a reprehensible act of state terrorism. EU member Lithuania has urged the European Union and NATO to respond. The journalist was placed on a wanted list after street protests last year following a presidential election in which Lukashenko was declared the winner but opponents complained of electoral fraud. A UK Black Lives Matter activist is in intensive care after she was shot in the head on Sunday morning. Sasha Johnson, a prominent member of the Taking the Initiative party, has been named online as the woman attacked in Peckham, South London, though police have refused to identify the victim. The group said the attack in the early hours of the morning came after the mother of two, believed to be in her 20s, had faced numerous death threats. She'd previously been a vocal supporter of the campaign campaign to remove the statue of Cecil Rhodes from Oxford University. People are being told to wait until 2024 for dentist appointments, while others are being removed from their practice lists for not making appointments sooner, according to a damning new report into the state of dentistry. A watchdog has warned that dental surgeries have reported that they have thousands of people on their waiting lists, while patients are unable to access care after ringing round numerous dental surgeries. It says delays have resulted in the worsening of painful symptoms, and in one instance, even led to a patient needing hospital treatment after they overdosed on painkillers. But Healthwatch England says that some people are being offered swift private care as an alternative at the same dental practice, with some patients reporting that they felt pressured to pay for private care. Footballer Marcus Rashford's petition to end child food poverty will be debated in Westminster today. More than 1.1 million people signed it after the England and Manchester United forward launched a campaign to ensure no child goes hungry. The petition called for the government to expand access to free school meals and provide meals and activities during school holidays. Prime Minister Boris Johnson phoned Rashford to announce a U-turn over providing free meals to disadvantaged children during the Christmas holidays in November. Yeah.